Hey Eric Peacock here, just going to talk about a couple things that release the shoulder. So recently I had a shoulder that was kind of giving me a hard time and I was brought to my attention by my good friend Dr. Tom Schmidt about, you know, just some muscles in there kind of get gummed up really literally and we got to keep working at them. It's not, you, stretching just isn't enough so you got to get in and do some trigger point release. So one thing I like to do is take the lacrosse ball here and then I want to roll this part of them right around my collarbone, around my pec down here. So I'm going to do this against the wall like this. I'm just going to lean into it. And I'm going to roll right around that collarbone, that pec, looking for tight spots. If I find one, I'm going to sit right on it. And I'm going to just keep working that area first. The next thing I can do, there's a muscle called the subscapularis, which sits on the front of your scap, on the front of your shoulder blade. So it's hard to get at by yourself. So what you can do is take a broom handle or something you can wedge up in there and see if you can find spots on the front of the scap. It's kind of right under your armpit. Work around there right in this area right here and see if you can find spots using a broom handle and just work in there for those trigger points and then finally I'll take the lacrosse ball and go down to the floor and I'm going to put it just like this and I'm going to just work in and find spots right on the back side of my shoulder right by my armpit on this side on the other side and I'm just going to sit there once I get a spot I'm going to just move this around and I'll tell you what this really does a good job of breaking up some of that stickiness in the shoulder if you have one shoulder that sticks which a lot of people do so give these a try we'll see you next time at purity fitness